Hey guys and welcome back to another video. On today's video, I'm going to show you how you can restore your MacBook Pro or any macOS computer or Apple computer with the Time Machine backup software. Um, if you do not know or haven't checked my video on how to backup your Time Machine, uh, your MacBook Pro with Time Machine, uh, you can check that video on the time card on top on the right or also it's going to be linked in the description so you can go watch that video first to know how to back it up and then you can watch this video on how to restore so first things first you already have to have a backup make from your computer with the time machine um, software once you have your time machine backup on uh, a store or put it on an external hard drive or, or a NAS hard drive you can restore for, uh, your computer or actually not even restore you can uh, also migrate to a newer PC so this work also to migrate um, to a new MacBook Pro if you bought a new one and you have an old one you can use time machine to back up your computer and migrate all your information to a new computer with the same backup because time machine will actually restore your new uh, computer with the um, with the backup that you made on your old one so First thing you have to do is you have to power down your computer. You ha it has to be totally powered off. So that's the first thing we're going to do. And while the computer is shutting down, just make sure that you like this video and share it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I do more uploads on the channel and new videos are coming in. Okay, we already have the computer shut down to start the recovery from the Mac OS we have to hit and hold the command and the R key so we have to hold command and R key on the keyboard to be able to uh, start on recovery once we have command and the R key hold down we're gonna hold it until the Apple sign comes on once the Apple sign comes on we can, you're going to see a little bar on the bottom and we can release the command and the R key. Once we see that, once we see that bar, that means that we are starting the recovery. So we're going to wait. It takes a little bit. Also, another thing before you reboot your computer or start your computer on the recovery, make sure that you have your external hard drive plug in because it is easier to get recognized once you ha are booting the computer. Okay, we are here in the, as you see, macOS recovery. Um, you're going to log in. If, this, uh, uh, if you're restoring, you're going to log in to the computer. If it's not, if it's a new migrate, um, you're going to be prompt on a new computer if you got if you have a time machine backup so it's different it's a different process when you're migrating but literally you're going to start your computer you're going to plug in your hard drive and time machine will detect that you have already a backup done so you can migrate your system from that but if you're recovering you once you start here you're going to log in you're going to hit next you're going to prompt you with the password for your user once you input the password, you hit continue. Now, once in the you log into the recovery after you input your password, you're gonna have a, a, a pop-up screen that gonna says Mac OS utilities, and you're gonna see the first um, the first option is restore from a time machine backup. The other one is reinstall Mac OS. That if you want just to erase the whole MacBook or iMac or MacBook Air to their default um, software, like when you bought it brand new, you use that option. And this utility is used in case you have to format the hard drive or you're, you have an older MacBook that you can actually swap out for a new hard drive, For but that's going to be explained in a different video. So the first thing, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go restore from time machine backup continue once we hit the time machine um, restore 
we're gonna see there's another pop-up screen said restore from time machine we're gonna hit continue now it's gonna be searching for your backup as you see it knows that I got delay say um, external hard drive also it realized that I got a network backup done but I'm gonna be using the external backups so we're gonna use the lazy we're gonna hit continue and you see it shows which one was the recent backup that I did if you have more than one computer like here I have a couple computers so we're gonna select my computer you see it has different backups so the latest one should be the one on the top as you see it was done at 348 because time machine will keep looking for changes in your computer so it's gonna keep doing little changes to your backup so that's why you see a lot of backups like every hour or every two hours it's just little changes it's not gonna increase your backup file so it's just little changes that are doing like if our uh, app has um been updated it's gonna just do that change because it knows that it's different so that's a good thing about the time machine it's just gonna keep on the background checking for new things in your computer so we're gonna hit continue and now we're gonna select uh, where, uh, which destination we're gonna use for restoring the backup so we got the lazy chair that's not the, the one we're gonna be using we're gonna be using the Macintosh HD that's the original name for the hard drive in my system so we select that and we hit restore it says that it's gonna erase the whole disk so that's fine because we're gonna restore the whole complete computer and the backup that time machine does is technically a total image of your system so it's gonna restore your apps it's gonna restore your documents your photos everything so we hit erase uh, it says that um, it's not encrypted so that's fine so it doesn't need a password if it was in, an encrypted hard drive then you wouldn't need a password to be able to access your backup so now we're gonna leave it restoring and depending on how big your uh, file from your backup is or how much stuff it has to restore to your hard drive it can take uh, 45 minutes to two hours three hours it just depends it, it will it, it will take a while so I'm gonna leave it here and this is practically everything that you're gonna do once you finish you're gonna be back in your computer like it was before you had it so it, it won't change anything as you see it says calculating it still doesn't show how long it's gonna take my backup file was around 127 gigs so it will take for me it will take around an hour to get it restored so that's all for this video uh, if you haven't seen how to do the backup go check that video out and if you want to follow me on my social media you can go and check out my twitter and my instagram where i post information about new videos coming also to the channel so thanks for watching once again and i'll see you in the next video